Today was absolutely wonderful to be here at Hack the Machine in Boston. We saw three communities that really didn't know each other come together over a weekend, and now they're shoulder to shoulder solving problems. This event has just renewed my enthusiasm and my desire to continue to push forward to try to change the Navy and push us into the digital era. We really are at a juncture where we have to make a decision. Are we going to explore and try and learn about those systems and potential vulnerabilities with an insular look? Or are we going to create a framework like Hack the Machine where we can actually open it up? What I was surprised about is how large of a community that comes from startups and from academia who just don't get access to these problems on a regular basis who want to participate because they think it's cool. While we use a lot of great digital tool sets, very advanced technologies, we still very much think in an analog manner, and we need to change that. Our programs of record are, are fantastic. They deliver core capability to the Navy, but an event like this really gives us an outside perspective of what have we missed and, and what are we not looking for. It's great news for Navy to have academia, other students, and our industry partners participating and learning about our toughest challenge. I teach at the U.S. Naval Academy. Uh, we have a, a group here that's our cybersecurity team. We're trying to solve the problem of maritime security. We're looking at kind of real life systems that could be deployed on boats, on naval platforms, on any kind of seagoing vessel, uh, and trying to figure out what the vulnerabilities in them might be and then ways that we can defend those systems so we can remain operational. We can work across a broad concept of questions and then find insights that help us make not just the Navy more secure, but the machines that the country relies on and the world relies on for the delivery of food and energy more secure for all of us.